Hey, hello, what's up guys, it's Jamie, aka The Fud Economist, coming at you with another video in the Trading Method series. Uh, I had a lot of you guys requesting that I do a video on some short-term trading methods, since as I outlined in two market talks ago, I think it was, I'll have that link somewhere on the screen. Uh, I don't think the market is ideal for investing right now. It will be soon, but not right now. Uh, so I had a lot of you guys request that I do some short-term trading methods. Uh, the one that we're going to explore today is exploiting a market inefficient, inefficiency in uh, the squad fitnesses, uh, the gold squad fitnesses in particular, the ones that gave you 30 plus. Uh, we're going to be taking advantage of uh, people that don't necessarily know how to properly search for the lowest buy now on those cards. And we're going to find a method to do that and then we're going to sell them on for a little bit more and make some money. So before we get into the method, I want to explain to you guys why I think this method is so lucrative. Uh, there are two main reasons. The first is that demand for squad fitnesses is inelastic. Uh, the reason for that is most people just see it as a sort of a necessity, something they have to pay for in order to keep playing the game. Uh, contrary to what most players should be doing, most players don't have a fitness team and a regular team, and they just keep playing with their regular team until they run their own fitness and then they go buy a card. Uh, and since it's lower than 1,500, which is the price of you know a gold fitness card times 11, uh, and people pay pretty much anything up until up until 1,500 for these squad fitness cards. Uh, in addition, people the this sector of the market is inefficient, which makes this method effective because people don't know how to search for the lowest buy now uh, for these gold squad fitness cards because they're actually mixed with the regular non-rare squad fitness cards, and so isolating the rare fitness card is actually pretty tricky. But I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do that. Alright, so say that you are a regular player on the FUT market and you have no idea. Uh, how to search for the proper minimum buy now of squad fitnesses you're just going to go and click search and you're going to hope for the best uh, you're going to see here 950 950 950 uh, i did a little bit of research ahead of time most people are actually willing to spend about 950 coins on squad fitnesses uh, just like on a normal yeah, you saw right there they bought them for about 950 coins um, but what we know as traders is that we can get that for a lot cheaper if we go to the 15th minute uh, and we catch those cards that people uh, are just listing up right away after they open in their pack so what I did is I go okay how can we narrow the parameters so I usually start at about 800 and if I see any on the first page like I do here then I know that um, you can uh, lower the parameters a little bit more and I also usually set the minimum at 450 so I have it set at 750 uh, knowing that people are willing to buy them at 950 coins anything that we can get below 900 coins uh, we're gonna be making profit on so I'm going to go to the 59th minute. It'll be uh, you know about 50 pages, and I'll see you guys there. All right, so we're coming up on the promised land of the 59th minute. As you can see, there are a bunch of squad fitnesses going for 750 coins. That's awesome for us because that is uh, you know about 100 selling them at. Uh, I'm just going to uh, 750 again. We're still at the 58th minute. See if we can get anything super cheap. All right, so there's a 700. I'm going to buy that, and then oh well, that hurts. <laughs> 700. All right, <laughs> we'll settle for 750. Okay, so we got one for 750. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and trade with this for about an hour. I'm just gonna keep scrolling back and forth, having a 59th minute reset. You're gonna have to be pretty quick. You saw that I got outbated uh, 12 seconds in to the 59th minute, so you're gonna have to be pretty quick. Uh, but if you're able to scroll back and forth fast enough, the page will refresh and eventually you'll win a couple. I'm gonna list all these up eventually for 950 coins uh, and then I should make some profit. Alright guys, so I've been trading with that method for about an hour. I bought myself 113 of the cards. Assuming that I can sell them on for about 950 coins, I make 900 coins off uh, after tax. Uh, that leaves me with about 113 times 150. That leaves me with 16,950 coins. That's, I'll round that up for uh, to 17k for you guys. So all you gotta do if you guys wanna enter the giveaway, I'm giving away those coins by the way, if you wanna enter the giveaway, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and then uh, answer the question in the comments down below where you guys are from, uh, where are you guys watching this video from. Uh, so just some final notes about this trading method in general. Uh, when you're listing up your cards, say I have a trade pile of 100 cards, you're going to want to list them all up manually at the same time. Uh, and when I say manually, I don't mean you don't want to use the auto relist button because what that does is it relists them all at the exact same instant <laughs> and all those 100 cards are going to go through the trading block way too fast. It's not going to give people enough time to see them. But what it, when you manually list them about a second apart, uh, there's actually a, sort of a five minute spread between the start and the end of your cards. Uh, and that makes it so, uh, as a buyer, when they come into the market, as, I, as we showed earlier, a buyer that doesn't know how to narrow the price ranges, uh, they'll just see that, oh, well, it looks like every single card is going for 950 coins. I guess that's the fair price. I'll purchase it. I don't really care because my demand for this is inelastic. 
uh, and that's what's going to make us, uh, you know, it's going to help us sell more of the cards. Uh, if you like this trading method, if you're excited for more, if you're new around here, why not subscribe? Uh, leave a like if you like the content. Uh, other than that, it's been Jamie, aka the Fud Economist. Keep your trade piles full, stay rational, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, so I almost forgot, uh, 09 Blue Lion, you're the winner of the 13k uh, from the last trading method video. Uh, keep your YouTube message box open, or set to public or something like that, so that I can message you. I'll be in contact with you by getting you 13k coins. If you guys want to enter into this video with a chance of winning the 17k coins, make sure, again, you like, comment, and subscribe, and then answer down below where you're watching this video from. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. So what does that all mean for us as traders? Well, we can look at first what it means for trading methods. That includes the 59th minute method, the mass bidding method. I'll link those somewhere on the screen. Uh,